In this video, we will start by looking at sigma notation. You will find this on page 63 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Sigma notation. A series can be represented in a compact form called summation notation or sigma notation. The Greek capital letter sigma, that's the letter, is used to indicate a sum. Let's look at the notation. If we consider a sequence of numbers, then we can write the sum of these numbers as this. A short way of writing this is to let tk represent the general term formula of the sequence. That, that's the general formula of the sequence. And write it as shown on the right. So this is, I start where, where it's 1, uh, n is 1, and I end there. Where, what value that will be. So, let's look at this. 3i. I. I is 1 and it must end at 5. So, I will start substituting there in, in the place of i, 1, then, then you go on, like you count, 2, 3, 4, and I stop at 5. So, 3i part is called summant. The, the numbers 1 and 5 are the limits of the summation, and the symbol i is the index. The choice of the letter used to the index is up to you, but must match with the letter used in the summon. No, the index does not indicate an exponent in this case. Okay, so this is very, very important. You can use other, they can use R, but then they will use R there. Or they will use M, and then they will use M there. So that is actually what it's saying. But let's look at an example. Can you move it up a little bit? Evaluate, that means write the series in expanded form and find the sum. There, there's the formula, n must start at 1 and it must end at 4. I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so basically, Write each of the following in, in um, expanded form and hinge find the sum. So expand, you can just substitute, but in this case, I want you to write that and find the answer. I think let's start easy, number 1a, then b, and then 2b. And again, stop the video, and you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's make it a bit smaller to just get space. Okay, let's start. Number 25. Okay, let's start with number 1a. I'm first going to write it. Uh, this is 7. And this is going to be i is equal to 1. And the formula is going to be 2i minus 1. Okay, so let's start. So it's going to be... 2, and then I put 1, minus 1, okay, and then plus, and then it's 2, and then you count on, so it's 2 minus 1, and you count on until you come to 7, so it's 2, 3, minus 1, plus 2, 4, minus 1, plus 2, 5 minus 1 plus 2, uh, bracket 2, 6 minus 1 plus 2, 7 minus 1. Okay, and if I simplify, let's just, just I'm just going to put the sticks, it's 2 minus 1, so it's 1. This is 4, so it's 3. This is 6 minus, so it's 5. This is 8 minus 1, so it's 7. This is 10, so it's 9. This is 12, so it's 11. This is 13. Can you see? Every time I'm just adding. They, there's my sequence, but it stops there. And now basically, they just want me to add everything up. And I give. So that means sum. You must still find the sum. It means SN. Okay, you must find the sum of from the first to the seventh term. Okay, that's how you do A. Let's do number B. A 
Okay, this is now K, and it's 2, and it stops at 5. And then, and then I must use K again here, otherwise there's a printing mistake. And now, if, if I'm starting to do that, just remember, now I substitute in there. But I must start at 2, not at 1, at 2. And I must 2, 3, 4, up to 5. So this is going to be 3, 2, to the power of 2, plus 3, 2, and now it's 3, plus 3, 2, and now it's 4, plus 3, 2, and now it's 5. And if I'm going to write this out, this is going to be 12. This is going to be 8 times 3, so it's 24. This is going to be 16 times 3, so it's 48. This is going to be 32 times 3, so it's 96. And if I add everything up, I get 180. So the sum, that result, will be 180. Okay, let's do the last one. Number 2B. Um, so, okay, now this is very interesting. You must start at zero, and then you go one, then you can count on, okay, consecutive numbers. So, use it then. But let's start. So, this is going to be. 2, and I gave you this one because it's going to be 0, plus 2, 1, plus 2, 2, plus 2, 3, plus 2, 4, plus 2, 5. And that is going to be anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Oh, sorry. 1, plus 2, plus 4, plus 8, plus 16 plus 32, and my final result will be 63. And that's how you do it. Okay, very easy, so we always start easy.